A family grieving two losses tonight and also looking for more answers about how these two brothers were killed on I-5. The two were standing on the side of the road when they were hit by a SAC PD detective. There is still no update from the CHP, though there is one new response from SAC PD. CBS 13's Madison Keevy has answers to the question left unanswered 24 hours ago. Traffic is moving Wednesday on I-5 southbound near Sutterville Road. But what isn't a family's day-to-day -day life? We want to make sure that they're able to process their grief and be able to move through their grief. And again, just come alongside and let them know that they're not alone. The law enforcement chaplain C. Sacramento will walk beside Carlos and Lionel Rodriguez's family as they're needed. It started at this scene Tuesday. The driver of the vehicle that CHP says was involved, a Sacramento Police Department detective that I learned today is still working and is not on administrative leave. We have to be patient to get them, to allow them that space, to be able to process what's happened, to be able to give them that permission to grieve at their own level. The senior chaplain told me the only job of the more than 40 volunteer chaplains to be present meet the families of victims like Carlos's wife, Jessica, as soon as they're ready. In this time of year, when, when the weather turns kind of dicey on the roads, that, that accidents do become a little more commonplace. I talked to a spokesperson at Caltrans and asked what causes are most common. A, a lot of accidents, unfortunately, are due to unsafe driving, uh, unsafe speeds, not paying attention, uh, you know, being on your phone while you're driving. Uh, and the weather conditions. 